All right, boys, we are back at it again with an impromptu video going over the cheating scandal with Tord Ratcliff, the best player in the world, got caught cheating today at the OCIC tournament, one of the biggest tournaments of the season. We're going to play the clip here at speed, and then we're going to go back. We're going to analyze everything, and I'm going to discuss why I know that Tord Ratcliff cheated in this clip. By the way, keep your eyes on this quick ball. Or that he could That's discard. the key. Yeah, um, you could maybe also see... Uh, he does have access to the Nagandel GX, uh, the one with Stinger. Um, sometimes it's used, especially when you're on the back foot situation where Zach's putting a ton of pressure on you, uh, where you can see something like a snipe from Venom Shot to deal 170 damage to that restaurant with Charizard and maybe clean it up later. But not having access to Welder for the rest of the game, it's really hard to just even attack. Yeah, certainly. You've got to think that whatever this Mewtwo does now, if it's knocked out by that Reshiram and Charizard GX, what can Tord even follow up with? It's Bang, a very picks precarious it up. situation here. He still has not attached for the turn, but it is something to be wary about. Skip ahead here, yeah. and then he goes and plays it, right? So we're going we're gonna to skip ahead there, 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 there. Bam, plays it. All right, we're going to go back here. And first things first. All right. He, so he's got, he played the quick ball. He's discard, I'm assuming, is his fire energy. His deck is already out. His, do you see his decks out for Harambe? And it still takes him 21 seconds to make this deck search. 22 if I'm feeling mean. But you know what? We're going to back this up a touch. We're going to say it's 21. Just, just to give him the absolute benefit of the doubt. 21 seconds to make this deck search. That's way too long. The rules are 15. Now, I understand if you're Zach Lesage in this situation, you didn't really count it out. Okay. But you know Tord is a slow player. You know this is what he does. And to me, I'd be quick on the buzzer. I'd be like, Judge, you got to call this. Now, maybe not in this spot because it is so early in the round. You don't want to get called for sharking. But right here, this is where you got to call him. Look how long this shuffle takes. The, the cut should be offered here. Right here. That's sufficient enough randomization to me. Maybe if you're feeling really pernickety, this is enough. Anything more than this is a slow play. And he goes on to shuffle for another 7 seconds. He doesn't offer the cut till 37. It takes him 37 seconds to search his deck and shuffle it. Right there, he's cheating. But I digress. That's not what we're here for. We're here for this bad boy. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? He scoops it up. Bang. Scoops up the quick ball. Look, look at that. Scoops it up. Scoop it up. I didn't even make a gif out of that. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. He scoops up that quick ball. As if the guy who doesn't take 37 seconds. The guy takes 37 seconds to check his game state. You think this dude doesn't know what he's doing when he scoops up that quick ball? You're out of your damn mind. You're out of your damn mind if you think it takes him 37 seconds, check his game state, make sure it's proper, and he still fucking scoops up the quick ball. You're an idiot if you think that. Now, you could still, you know, you can even still say he had a brain fart. I would totally disagree with you. And you know what? I might have been inclined to agree with you, especially because Tor does not have a record of this sort of thing until, check this. Here we go. So he's shuffling his deck 36. You see Zach here. Zach is here, hands folded, making sure Tor's not cheating here with his hands. That's where his focus is at. Or he's thinking about his next turn. Maybe he's thinking about lasagna. Who knows? Lasagna's pretty damn good. Anyway, so he's going to do that. Bam. Right there. So at this moment here, Tor offers the cut. And at this moment here, Zach's focus is no longer on Tor's hands. His focus is now, as you can see, on the cut. Now, just by a show of hands, who here has ever cut a deck and been able to simultaneously keep perfect track of the opponent's hands and game state at all times? I'm going to go out on a limb and say absolutely none of you can do that 100% of the time. And if you can, congratulations, you got some kind of special power. But I don't have that. I've been playing this game for six years, man. I don't have that kind of power. Do you know what else I don't do after six years? 
I've never seen anyone play a trainer card like this. I've never seen anyone play a quick ball specifically or an ultra ball or anything that's kind of like a deck search like that where you have to discard a card and then you search your deck, especially an item. And I've never seen anyone play an item like this where you play the item and then you stack the card that you played on top of the item. And this is why you don't do it, kiddos. What you do is you put the card you played into the discard pile after you play it and then whatever card you search, you put sideways so that you don't people don't think that you put it in on the bench because then you can get sharked for that and there's not really much a judge can do about it. They'll probably give it to your opponent. But either way, I've never seen that. So you do that. He scoops it up, bang, and it goes into his hand. Like Both cards go into his hand. Insane. Insane no stuff. Now from here, again, the guy who is the most meticulous, the guy who takes the most time, Making sure the game state's proper. He's got 19 seconds at this point, right from here. Right when he sees the quick ball. He's got to see that. And he's got 19 seconds to see that he fucked up. And all he has to do is say, yo, Zach, listen. I accidentally put this card in my hand. This is supposed to be in the discard pile. If you want to look through the discard pile, it's supposed to be in there. Let me just toss it in there. We good to go? We got to be fixed the game state. Zach will say, sure, unless he's a dick and he wants to raise a hand for a judge, and I wouldn't have that. But and at that point, we're talking about Zach. But we're not talking about Zach here. We're talking about Port. And that's what the right play. You could say, hey, man, I messed up. Here's the quick ball that's in my hand. This is supposed to be in the discard pile. Let me just chuck it in there real fast and be like, yeah, sure, go on. Chuck in the discard pile. Everything's fine. But no, Tort has 19 seconds to figure this shit out. He, he makes two plays as well. Look, he fans through his hand once. Okay, maybe it's covered up by the man. He sees it right there. At 45, he's at this point got 14 seconds. 14 seconds to see this. The smartest player in the game's got 14 seconds to see this, and he fucking misses it. Big X to doubt. X to doubt. And then we're going to go through this commentary as well, because the commentary is pretty telling as well, right here. So we're going to go in here, I believe. Maybe clean it up later, but not having yep. access to Welder for the rest of the game. It's so you can hear... That the commentators know that Tor doesn't have Welder for the rest of the game, which means his deck basically is useless. He can't power up his Muse to be able to attack. Now, Tord knows this because it's his freaking deck, and he's, again, the best player in the world. So he knows. And then his commentator, just even uh, the co commentator, follows up. Yeah, certainly. You've got to think that whatever this Mewtwo does now, if it's knocked out by that Reshi Ram and Charizard GX, what can Tord even follow up with? So she agrees that there's no follow-up play from Tord if this thing gets knocked out. So Tord, not only does he have the monetary incentive to cheat, he has the game the game state incentive here to cheat. His game his game state's kind of shit. So he's got the incentive to cheat. With the deck cut here, he's got the distraction. And then we're going to fast forward it here, right here. Now this here. This makes it really damn near impossible for Zach. Unless he noticed, it makes him impossible. Makes it impossible here for him to check his hand. Like he can't check the hand. It's it's you can't tell how many cards are in the hand. So, Tord's hands are kind of shady. He's got the incentive, and he's got the distraction. That's all you really need. And to me, even if he's innocent, even if you totally disagree with me, even if you see this video and you hate my guts for it, we need to have these kind of conversations because anyone who's close judges, moderators, etc. They try to quash these kind of conversations because it's not good for the image of the game. But you know what else isn't good for the image of the game? Letting people getting away with cheating or potential cheating. Ave Tor is probably going to come out and he's going to get nothing for this. And you know what? It's BS. Because if any other player did this, there'd be a witch hunt. Even the pros, even, even if any, even Zach did this to Tord, there'd be a witch hunt against him. I'm not asking for a witch hunt against Tor, but I'm looking for some damn justice. And justice will not be served in this situation unless we have a discussion about it and push for it. Because that's the only time that justice is ever served. Look at Igor Costa's ban from last year. Nothing was going to happen. It took them a month and a half to see that he bribed somebody. But there was enough public outcry that they eventually did something about it. But that's the only time they do anything about it is when there's when people complain enough and there's no way that anyone can defend them. Still it's just nothing. it's just insane, guys. It's just insane. And the last thing I want to point out is the fact that the moderators 
in the t- the uh, po- the uh, TCG chat, they were banning people and they were muting people. We're talking about this, and that's and that's terrible. You gotta do better than that, Pokemon. You can't have that. You have to allow people to talk about these things because your game is worse off if you don't. People just know people are cheating, and when there's this much money on the line and there's nothing that gets done about these people who cheat. Again, if Tor cheated, which in my opinion, he cheated. But even if you don't agree with that, even if you don't think it was in, in, in malicious intent, you have to do something. At this level, you cannot make that kind of gameplay error. And thank God we had the video. Because Tord won this game. He won this game. If this game wasn't on stream, he'd be in top four. I believe at the time of recording, Zach Lesage is in finals. Tord could have been the one there. And we would have had a cheater in the finals but we got so lucky that this was on video and then the judges went back retroactively changed the decision from game one to a game loss which by the way should have been a straight dq but that's not my place but in my opinion if you want my opinion on that situation we need to be stricter about these types of rules because it's absolutely ridiculous that these people get away with this shit because it because the rules are inconsistent as hell and there's it's all it's all by intent, which is the wrong way to go about things. I used to play football, play a lot of football. It didn't matter whether my hand slipped and I grazed the guy's face mask or the guy beat me and I grabbed his face mask and tore him to the dirt. That's a 15 yard penalty both ways. So my intention doesn't matter in that situation. And if we're going to take this shit as seriously as we take sports, which by the way, this shit is more serious than high school sports because I ain't getting paid 2K to win a championship in, 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 in high school football, but I get paid 5K, 10K to win worlds. Or really anyone does. Anyone here gets paid 5 to 10K to win worlds. So when that kind of money and that kind of incentive is on the line, shit, I made more money. I would make more money for making day two. I've made more money playing this game than I've ever made playing football. For, I played football for 11 years. I played this game for six. I've made infinitely more money playing this game because there's cash incentive to cheat and people cheat even at the lowest levels. And we have to call this shit out and we have to have a place. We have to have all places open to call this shit out so people feel comfortable calling it out so we can have discussions. And even if the guy's innocent, you know, and he can prove him, he prove his innocence and that's fine. We can let him go and we can apologize. But man, we see shit like this happen on stream and nothing's going to happen. Unless, of course, you know, you guys make enough of a fuss about it. Let me know, though, what you guys think of this content, of this video in the description down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Even if you totally disagree with me and you think Tor didn't do this on purpose, share the video because at the very least for the last part of this commentary, for the fact that we need to call cheaters out, we need to feel comfortable doing it, and the fact that the Pokemon moderators are trying to squish all conversation of any kind of cheating is we have to talk about that so please share the video with your friends agree disagree i don't care like dislike that doesn't matter to me if you're going to do something for me share this video and if you're new around here and you happen to like the content maybe you checked out some of my other stuff maybe you checked me out on stream who knows and you really like what you see here Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you do not miss another upload, as well as, of course, go down into the description down below. I'm going to have the link to this clip so you can check it out for yourself. You know, you can make your own decisions. And, of course, as well, my Twitch channel, the link is going to be in the description as well so you can check us out there. Until next time, boys, this has been Derek for Table 500. Catching cheaters. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.